morning. First, I'd like to thank the NAACP for allowing me to address this important event. So give a hand to the NAACP. Hello, my name is Nadja Williams. I am Millionaire Mind Youth, the co-founder of my own company, Millionaire Mind Kids, a paid keynote speaker, an honor student at Apple Valley High School, this year's grand prize winner in my school science fair, a police activities lady shop graduate, and an ordinary student like most of you. Today, my message is on education, specifically questioning why is STEM education so important for us as youth? I am very passionate about this subject. Since I was only given 10 minutes to speak on a topic that could take me days, I will try my very best to be effective. How many of you would like to be a drug addict or a convict when you grow up? <laughs> <laughs> How many of you would like to grow up struggling trying to raise a family on a minimum wage income and living below the poverty line? <laughs> How many of you will be part of the 22% high school dropout rate in the high desert over the next four years. <laughs> Did you know that the Department of Education predicts that 22% of us students over the next four years will drop out of high school? Did you know that the Victor Valley Unified School District has some of the worst dropout rates in the county and far exceeds the state's dropout rates? Oro Grande has the worst dropout rates in the county with 38%. With Victor Valley Union High with Victor Valley Union High with 30%. Even more disturbing. Did you know that the dropout rates for black and brown students is high and this is also true for the prison population? The dropout rates for African Americans is 41.3%. For Native Americans, 30.3%. For Hispanics, 31.3%. And for, compared to whites who have a 15.2% and Asians who have 10.2%. These statistics are devastating. For example, this means that out of every 100 African American students, that are enrolled in our school, 41 of us drop out, leaving only 59 to graduate. The bottom line, high school dropouts can lead to anger, drug and gang involvement, and low minimum wages. This could all lead to a career of crime. My message to you today is a call to action. We must stand in our power and take responsibility for designing our own lives. We are the future leaders and decision makers. We hold the keys to success for our free, success and freedom for our families. My message to you today is to educate ourselves to continue to be the world's leaders in every area. How many of you would like, how many of you know what the acronym for STEM stands for? Yes. Science, Technology, Education, Mathematics. Close, but give her a hand. <laughs> defense weapons 
for defense for our country. We have a shortage of mathematicians whose skills are woven into everything we do. This shortage of STEM degrees could cause the U.S. to lose its world leadership position. Today, there seems to be a shortage of jobs, and the U.S. is losing its power to other countries. I am here to tell you that there is not, are not, sorry, a shortage of jobs in the U.S. In fact, there are 123 million STEM jobs available in the U.S. for students and people, well, adults. <laughs> There are only 53 million STEM qualified people in the U.S. to fill these positions, which means that the U.S. has to depend on other countries to fill these jobs. Other countries such as China, Indonesia, and Finland. 45% of China's graduates are STEM specialists, compared to the 15% that the United States graduates with. We have a strong need to educate ourselves to continue to be the world's leaders. We can do this. I believe in me and I believe in you. Now that I have used most of my minutes, I have been asked to share my dream for the future. I dream that, sorry, I have a dream that today's youth take responsibility for their education so we can continue to hold this world's leadership position in every area. I dream that our education will make this world a better and more peaceful place to live. In 2011, we, the youth, responded to President Obama's call to action, where he asked us to educate, to innovate. We have created an environmentally safe and peaceful place that we are spiritually and financially welcome. Today, I am doing my part by expanding my company, Millionaire Mind Kids, to educate, to innovate. This summer, in partnership with the San Bernardino County Superintendent of Schools, Alliance for Education, and faith-based organizations, we will be offering summer STEM camps and classes for students who are failing in schools. We need the help of our entire community to support our youth. By donating on our website, you will send a failing student to our STEM camps to help bring their grades up. Remember, it takes a village to raise a child, and we, the Millionaire Mind Kids, are asking you to be a part of this village. <laughs>